The Church of Scientology has no official presence in Egypt and there are no known membership statistics available. In 2002, two members were detained by Egyptian authorities under the charges of contempt of religion. However, some books by the founder, L. Ron Hubbard, have started to appear in several Egyptian bookstores in the late 2000s, and were even approved by Al Azhar, the highest Sunni learning institution in the Muslim world. Egypt is listed on an official Scientology website as being a country in which Dianetics and Scientology services are ministered. Narconan, an organization which promotes Hubbard's drug abuse treatment, has a branch in Fayyum. Topic: <laughs> Detention of two members. On December 24, 2001, Egyptian authorities arrested two members of the Church of Scientology, Mahmoud Massawa, a 28-year-old Israeli citizen of Palestinian origin, and his Palestinian wife Wafa Ahmad. They were charged with contempt of religion and were accused of trying to establish a branch in Egypt and harm the country's two main religions with the aim of sparking riots. Two months later, a court extended their custody for 30 days to allow further police questioning, adding that they have confessed to have come to Egypt in order to spread their doctrine. Human Rights Director of the Church of Scientology, Liza Goodman, denied these claims on behalf of the church and said that the couple was in the country representing the Italian branch of New Era Publications, a firm that publishes the works of L. Ron Hubbard, to promote Hubbard's book Dianetics, The Modern Science of Mental Health, stressing that the authorities had allowed the book's entry to Egypt. We are greatly concerned at their prolonged detention, which appears to be a violation of their right to freedom of expression. Goodman said. The two were finally released the next month and the court ruled that condemning people for adopting new ideas is a violation of human rights. <inaudible> Scientology books in Egypt Arabic language translations of books by L. Ron Hubbard, such as Dianetics and The Way to Happiness, have been sold in several bookstores in Egypt and were made available at the annual Cairo International Book Fair. The books bore the approval stamp of Al Azhar, the Muslim world's highest Sunni learning institution. They were printed in Denmark, both in English and Arabic, and shipped to Egypt by New Era Publications. Ahmed Abdul Kalek, a professor at Al Azhar University who has served as chief of staff and translator to the Grand Imam of Al Azhar, said that he had no objections to the approval of the books unless they violated morality and traditions. We should be open minded and listen to the other. After all, if I disagree with something in a book, one should write a rebuttal. He said, New Era Publications Public Relations Office said that Al Azhar's move was essential and insisted that there was nothing religious about the book's nature. Topic: <laughs> Narconan. Narconan Egypt, a drug abuse treatment center based in Fayyum, is the Egyptian branch of the global Narconan organization. The branch's executive director, Muhammad Noor Salah, said that there is no connection between Narconan Egypt and the Church of Scientology, stressing that it is a non-profit organization and that none of the staff are Scientologists. Nevertheless, Narconan Egypt's website mentions Hubbard's work as an inspiration for its founding. <laughs> 